DSPs become such an important part of marine installations that on today's workshop, we're gonna dive deep in the reasons why you need DSP and how to set it up properly. Hey, John Catalano here from Diamond Audio. Today we're gonna to talk about the limited power supply issue we have in marine applications and why DSP can help you maximize the efficiency of the system that you're installing. So, in the marine environment, you're either running on just battery power or hopefully, you know, a stator or something like that from the engine running. Um, but, you know, they don't want to run the engine all the time. A lot of times they're going to be sitting idle and they're just going to be running on battery power. So we have a limited resource there and we want to maximize that as much as possible. Adding a DSP will help you maximize that. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross over our speakers so they're running most efficiently. So we ha don't have to overdrive them. Uh, we're not trying to use passive crossovers that are going to waste power because we're creating a full range signal running through a passive and then that power is wasted the heat. We could go ahead and use the DSP to cross those over at an optimum setting so those speakers run more efficient and enhancing the output of the amplifier and the speakers themselves because the amplifier is not producing output that isn't going to be used and the speaker is not trying to drive frequencies it's not designed to drive. So again, taking that all into consideration, that's how you optimize the efficiency of your system by utilizing a DSP. Speaking to crossover settings, we're going to use those crossover settings to optimize the output of those drivers. We're going to use the DSP, look at what the drivers are capable of producing efficiently, especially in the application that we're using them in. And then we're going to cross those over so those speakers run at those frequencies so we're not wasting amplifier power. We're not using a passive crossover. We're using an active crossover. And we can really dial it in tight using the DSP. Another reason you want to use DSP is because of the differences in speaker distances. Like in a car, the speakers may not be symmetrical. But in a boat, it's even more so. Most applications, the speakers are not in a symmetrical path. So you have lots of opportunity for cancellation. And what happens is the customer or the end user is going to turn that volume up to try to compensate for that. So we're overdriving the speakers. We're using more power. It's just not an efficient way of doing things. So utilizing the DSP in those time correction settings, we can go in and we can optimize those speaker distances so everything is technically at an equal length. So we're not having cancellations. We're getting the most efficiency out of the system. And it's going to sound better on top of all that. So it's a bonus by using the DSP. Another great utilization of the DSP is splitting channels. So if you're using a DSP like ours, you're getting 10 volts of output. So if you need the split channels, say you're running multi, multi-channel amplifiers, you can split those channels and have confidence that you're still gonna have lots of output voltage so you can keep those levels down and have a very, very little chance of having any kind of noise situation because you're having to split channels. If you're using a normal source unit, at best, a marine unit, not including ours, is only going to give you maybe 2 volts of output. Having 10 volts of output increases that so you can put multiple amplifiers on a single channel and not have to worry about loss of signal, loss of sound quality, and introduction of noise. So taking some of these points and putting them together, using the DSP is going to increase the overall efficiency of the entire system. You're only playing the frequencies that those speakers are capable of and what you want them to play. You're optimizing the time correction so you're not having to overdrive the speakers and the amplifier to uh, compensate for inefficiencies and in speaker placement and things like that. So as you're utilizing this DSP and setting it up and doing these things, you're reducing the load on the electrical system of that vehicle or boat. So you're not having to worry about you know, the lack of power that they have on a boat. They're either running on a stator or again on just the battery. So you want to maximize everything in that system. And while you're maximizing it, you're making it sound better as well. So it's a side effect. Uh, you could say you're trying to make it sound better and it made it more efficient or you're trying to make it more efficient. And you made it sound better. Either way, the customer benefits from adding the DSP. And final point, channel linking. So you can add uh, different channels together so you can have multiple channels on 
left, multiple channels on right, especially if you're not using a traditional source unit, say you're using one of our Bluetooth devices and you only have two channels to work with. So you can link those channels together so you have system flexibility and again, that ultim ultimate optimized power output from the amplifiers, the speakers, the efficiency, all those things come together with the channel linking. All right, guys, I wanna thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something new about DSP and why it's the right decision for a marine audio installation. If you needed more information, I please encourage you to go to diamondaudio.com. You can get more information there and we'll see you on the next one.